Hi there. My name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and in the next several lectures of GPU programming for video games, we'll take a look at Unity's scriptable render pipelines. So we're not going to look at Unity's universal render pipeline or high definition render pipeline. These are the pipelines provided by Unity. We're going to be creating one from scratch. The skills we learn while looking at this pipeline made from scratch would be helpful if you wanted to hack the URP or the HDRP. And it's helpful to just have a sense of how these pipelines work in general. Now, if you're making a game, I would generally not recommend writing a scriptable render pipeline from scratch unless you have very particularly weird rendering needs. I would suggest choosing either the universal render pipeline or the high definition render pipeline. And given how unstable the URP and HDRP have been, Unity tends to break them with different updates. You might actually just want to stick with the built-in render pipeline that we've looked at so far in the course because it's reasonably stable. But even if you're not using a scriptable render pipeline in your game, I think studying SRPs is useful because it gives you a general sense of what a renderer needs to do under the hood. So it will give you insight into what the built-in pipeline must be doing, or for that matter, the renderer in another engine like Unreal or Godot. There's not a lot of examples of custom scriptable render pipelines out there. I recommend checking out this video, Unlocking the Power of Unity's Scriptable Render Pipeline by Game Dev Guide, although I don't see anything here that you couldn't hack into the built-in pipeline. There's this talk called Building a Custom Render Pipeline by Alex Williams that I think deserves more attention. But I would particularly like to point you to this talk on Battle Planet Judgment Day at Unite Copenhagen 2019. There's some stuff going on here that would be very difficult to do in the built-in pipeline. And this talk Mark Mayers gave to the Boston Unity Group about the game Desolus. There's some stuff going on here that would be extremely difficult to do in the built-in pipeline.